Hi, it's John from Beyond Comics. I wanted to finally give you guys a little bit of uh, how to use the new websites, comichub.com, stores.comichub.com, and beyondcomics.com, which you probably are already familiar with. Comichub.com is our subscription-based and ordering form website for your new comics in your stores, and stores.comichub.com is a place where you can actually order product from the stores to be delivered and or picked up at the stores. So I want to show you how to use these websites starting with comichub.com. This is the login area for your subscriptions. I had originally sent out the wrong address. You select customer.comichub.com to log in. This will load up lots of cool stuff including new arrivals and product on the way of course it takes me a little longer being at home my internet's not the fastest today is Wednesday the 17th of June we just recently uploaded all of next week's new arrivals product so that will be showing up in a new arrivals carousel so what I'm gonna do Apparently I've been logged in. I am going to log out. Now I'm going to log in. You enter the email that we sent you. Have your system set in with our subscription stuff. This is why we keep asking you for everything. So you need to give us your, make sure your email address is correct. We'll send you a password and you can log in. I set up an, a dummy account so you guys can see how this works, though this will link to my subscription. What this does is pull all the information down off the computer at the store. It's all linked to the internet, and it will show you everything you have on order, purchased, and can get. Each week we'll shoot out an email with everything that's due next Wednesday. In this case, first thing you show up is this carousel up here which is a current search so I'm going to skip past it this is just sort of like everything you can order so what we're going to do the first thing you want to do is go to your order history and this will show you what's actually in your subscription so all these books are currently being held for me right now in a in my file this is what you have in your current subscription folder. If you go down to the bottom you can see your things you've had or new that you can order. Um, in the case of this, just to let you know, you can even check all your cart stuff. You can purchase anything from the internet right here through your cart. You can use credit card or PayPal. This will allow you to pay for it and pick it up at the store with the in-store. The cool thing about this is if you're not going to be around and you want to make sure you're paying for your stuff on time, you can go ahead and purchase it this way. We'll have a printout at the store showing what you've got. Your order history tab has everything by sort of by genre, by category that you've bought searching as go. There's discussions of changing some of the colors. Uh, we'll see about that. And then the other thing you want to keep track on is pre-order product. This is the order forms. So we're always bugging you guys to make sure you want to know to order a product from us or get a special variant. This is our search for pre-order product. Uh, it loads all the information from the internet with uh, full color covers if available and then links to it as I said it's a little slow it's a lot of product as well one of the biggest problems is the internet has or the, the industry has been undergoing a lot of change the last couple weeks and as a result we're having to draw from different locations a little bit more so you can see everything has shown up and it shows you here at the bottom of the information thing that it's available to order you want to read 
get a better look at something, you hit the eyeball, gives you a little print, shows you different variant covers available. You can add it to your cart or you can close it. If I want to order something, I add, hit the plus. I can choose single issue or I can order a subscription. Ongoing order, selected issues. In this case, I'm just going to add as a subscription. That'll send the store the information saying, hey, we want to put this in as a subscription. We'll send you back an email that we've done that. Very simple. It allows you to change anything as you go. As I said, I apologize for the slowness of it, but it's a lot of data that it will be transferring around. Alright, so if you want to do a search, as you can search by category. In this case, I have comics. Let's do action figures. This is, again, stuff that's not been ordered. So if I want to select the latest items, you hit the latest item button and hit go for your search. This is checking the latest issue of previews. And in some cases, there will be additional stuff. As I said, our current industry has a lot of backlog of product orders that are coming through and a lot of catching up to do. So there's a whole list of everything that falls under this. Um, if I want to see everything, I hit view all. And this is the latest previews that came out in June. So you'll see most of the products are going to have a June order code. Most of these are not able to be subscribed to, so they're only going to have the drop into the shopping cart button. A little slow, as I said, but again, we're catching up on things. There we go. Cyberpunk Gianni Silver. I want to add one to the cart. There we go, it shows you both of these. Shows that I've added as a subscription, shows that I've just or special ordered the product. Go back to shopping, close this to get back here. Uh, let's say I want to change my category. Now this will also build categories. So if you hit multiple categories, you're gonna get more product. So when you do this, you wanna make sure you only select the product you're interested in and perhaps re by re selecting more choices you reduce down the number of items you can actually order from. That uh, allows you to pick and choose a little bit better. So in this case I don't want to do action figures anymore. We're going to do comic books and I'm going to Choose a genre. I would like action adventure. Now these aren't always specific. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm interested in all the variants I can order. Now here's open order variants, which would be cover price. Incentive variants are based on 1 in 10, 1 in 25, or you have to order specific ones to get. Normally it doesn't hurt to not narrow down by genre, but this will make it a little interesting. Here you go, this is in the catalog under the action adventure. I can also scroll, shows me all the variant covers available. Uh, prices, SRP. Now I've also found that uh, it only shows a, a few in the current search at the top. You want to hit view all if you want to see everything. Uh, sort of more of a teaser at the front. This is going to be your best way to check for different kind of covers you might have interest in. And again, the more stuff there is to sort from, the more you have to... It'll be doing more and more feeding, So, because again, it loads images, loads information. <clears throat> The stuff like this that doesn't have a cover uh, will load with an autofill. 
those don't go on our other website they only go on this website because this is the pre-order website here's all the different variant covers a b covers so it only searches for covers that have variants in this case if i want to change this a little bit i can change everything to new number ones do a search there we go these are all new number ones or one shots listed in the catalog available to order and then I want to show you this as well right here it shows up on all your feeds this is next Wednesday's stuff so this being the 17th this is all stuff that's going to ship the 24th this is directly from our invoices variant covers gee I wanted to get the Batgirl 46 next week but I want the art germ cover I'm going to go ahead and request that drops it into the cart go to the cart I want those I don't want to pay for them so they just gonna leave them there um, but I could pay for them now I'm actually not hundred percent sure how to run this part but you pay for them credit card is not valid of course not um, and then of course as I said here's my in-store stuff so I'm gonna go back to shopping well basically I wanted you to see that this is how everything works so again your pre-order product for all your new stuff and you can sit on this for quite a time to figure it out uh, it's really easy it's got a lot of search engines you can make a playlist so you can have regular sorted stuff your order history gives you everything you've uh, bought that our system recognizes if you want to search by artist you can do that so that's basically how comic hub works so I'm going to show you now is storescomichub.com. I'm going to go through it a little bit different. So I'm going to get up here, log out, close that. I'm going to go to beyondcomics.com. Just so you can see the long way to get to it, because, gee, I forgot the name of it. Look, oh, shop online. I want to shop at the Frederick store. Now this sends you to the stores.com site. In this case, they always drop you on the landing page with both stores as capable. You can sign in with your same login as your other site. It will link those. All right, this is our Gaithis or Frederick store. And in this case, I'll go to all products. This is everything in the store. Uh, we are loading all this product in as you go. It's all by department, subject, hot toys, games. You can order anything here, new releases. This is everything that's shipped this week. So you can add any of these things. It tells you if in stock. It tells you if we're having, uh, like in the case of this, we haven't gotten our full shipment on the Aquaman. But if you see in stock, let you know. If it shows up as please inquire, more than likely we can order more copies. It's just out in the store. Uh, a lot of the variants will show up with price points. Again, you can order them just like anything else. You order that drops into the cart somewhere oh, no I didn't order it I just linked it okay I want to add that to my cart and then I'm gonna to go to all products I'm gonna search hot toys we've been busy people so this is the kind of stuff that's really cool all of our we're getting in a lot of the hot toys so if you're a collector of hot toys there you go. I'd like to get the Harley. I see if it's in stock. A little bit of information about her. Add her to the cart. Go to my cart. All right. I have options. Shipping. Pick up at the store. There's my price. Review my order. You can order it. It sends us a link at the store, pulls us out of both the inventory in the store and on the internet. 
I am going to not do this. I'm going to cancel my order. So I'm going to go back to my cart central if I can, and I will delete them. So that's pretty much how that works. Uh, the coming soon gets pre this. So this is preloaded again. This is next week's comics. Now, in the case of these, you can't always buy them because they're not active on the website. So this is the stuff that if you're interested in, you're going to want to let us know on the other site. Uh, but it also, again, is a nice carousel of everything that's supposed to ship next week. So that's basically, in a nutshell, how Comics Hub works. If you have questions, I want you to feel free to call either store, Gaithersburg or Frederick, uh, or email us. But again, I have links on beyondcomics.com so that you can figure this stuff out. So just hop onto there. Hop on our main website. There's the subscriber portal. And there's the two stores. And we're going to slowly transition this right now. Big Commerce is mainly a good site for our magic product. So uh, that's a quick tour of our retail right now, Comic Hub being the main one. Again, have any questions, let us know, and we will see you in the store soon.